Welcome back to another exciting tutorial on the ICT channel. Today we'll be looking at mind mapping, e-mind mapping for that matter, on FreeMind using the software FreeMind. So let's get started. Now, why do we mind map, right? Now we mind map to organize information, to plan, to brainstorm for ideas, to digitize the information to collaborate with others and to add new information at a later date or time. Right, uh, this point over here, point four, um, to digitize information, we'll be able to retrieve this information at a much later time. We can always mail our mind map to ourselves, uh, store it somewhere on a storage device so that we can retrieve this information when needed. Right, so let's get down to mind mapping. Now, we are going to use the, the software called FreeMind. So, on your computer, you can press the start button and go on down to look for FreeMind over here. What I've done for myself is to drag this out and put on my taskbar. So, I have a new it's a butterfly over there. Okay, so essentially, it's going to start this way. Now, for some of you, you may have by default activated the node window and the view node window so you have this interface over here that looks like this so you may want to switch that off so go to view and switch off the node window okay now two very important um, techniques or hotkeys in FreeMind is the insert and the enter button these two are very crucial to your speed in making the mind map so the insert button, okay, I'm just going to go use my keyboard over here, right? Okay, um, mouse arrows. Insert button is to essentially to insert a new branch, while the enter button is to split branch. So I'm just, just going to press more enter and see it's just going to split. Now, so if I want to delete, I'll just have to press delete, 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 delete. Okay. Now, so, for instance, when I start at the center, I'm just going to press insert, and you have a new branch over there, right? So, we are mapping our map on chapter 10, transport in organisms, so in plants and in humans. So, insert, uh, we have vascular bundles okay xylem tissues and the phloem tissues okay that's the basic keys right so I'm gonna bubble this up yes that's control shift B where I get to bubble the mind map. Okay. So um, another important key is to zoom in or zoom out. Right? Many people work with very small mind maps. It's get very hard to work with in this environment. So you have to you press control and scroll, right? And you gotta work essentially with the mouse button. And okay, so enter now. I'm okay. So I'm over here. If I press enter, I'm just gonna split the branch, right? So some of you are playing a fool, break too many insert buttons. So how do you remove this? Just go back to the main branch and press the delete button. Okay. Now F2 is also very important. So I can F2 button is essentially to edit F2. Edit the text. Right, so F2. Let's see, made a mistake. Yep, there you go. Now, alternate enter is to break long sentences. For long sentences that need to be broken into several lines, you can use the alternate enter, alternate with enter. Right, you can see all this up here. Right, so if you do not break them into a, this long sentence into a few lines, it's just going to look very, very long. And that's not how 
a good mind map works. Okay, a mind map should be very compact in size. So I'm just gonna go on to alternate enter over here. For long sentences that need to be broken. Alternate okay, enter. Oh sorry. Enter into several lines. Yeah. Okay, the bubble. The bubble is control shift B. Right? Now in case okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, okay, five. Okay, let's say I want to move this branch up. I just have to press control arrow up. And there I go. With all my branches in the correct sequence. Yeah. Okay. Now, do's and don'ts. Do use your keyboard most of the time unless you're coloring bubbles. For example, I want to color the do's and don'ts, the yellow. So I just go up here to format, cloud color, yellow. Okay, so only when I'm I need to color the bubbles, yeah. For zoom in and zoom out using control and mouse scroll as mentioned earlier, don'ts. Okay, do not use your mouse unless necessary. Do not drag the branches. Okay, this software will automatically adjust itself, meaning that say you want to you notice that you want to have this nice looking mind map, you don't have to. Move it around, you just have to keep it that way and it will just open up by itself. Okay? Now it is um what has happened here is just that the my map has collapsed. So you just have to click or arrow out. Yeah, so I'm just gonna delete this away. Okay, last but not least, the yes, the cute picture over here. Now for images you gotta keep the size to very small, about 150 pixels. This is a 150 by 150. Any bigger, you're just gonna have a very big picture to your map. So I'm just gonna delete this away. I'm gonna insert this. So from here, I'll just have to press Enter to split this the main branch. So I'm just gonna go to Insert Image. Right, I prepared plant 150. So there you go. Okay. So. That's all for the mind mapping. Okay, this is a complete mind map on transplanting organisms, plants and humans. I've mapped it about a year ago and here it is. The information is still intact and I can relearn this at any time I want. Okay, good luck to your mind mapping. Alright, hope to see you in our next tutorial. Okay, goodbye.